Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another episode of Who Should You Choose? The video where I go through all of your previous comments on the last video and help you make your lineup decisions for a hockey ultimate team. The only thing I require is you sub to the channel and leave a comment down below if I get to it. Um, perfect. If you have notifications on, there's a better chance of you getting it, not or getting it answered on the following video. I, do, I keep these videos to about 20 minutes so that I don't just end up rambling on. Um, that being said, if you need a question answered in a much faster fashion, uh, make sure you check me out live on Twitch, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, pretty much every single day. Uh, just come check me out on Twitch, link is down below, and I will be happy to answer your question in chat. So let's get to today's questions. We'll start with Ethan. I have 450k with Lemieux, McDavid, Sagan, Carlson, Duchesne, Vazzy, and basically a well-rounded team. Nothing crazy, though. Who should I do and what as my next steps with my coins? So 450K is a lot. You're looking at, like, a master set item. That's what I would do because, you know, outside of Lemieux and McDavid, you don't really have any top-end cards, like those high-end ones. I would look to see if you can save up a couple more, you know, maybe another 50,000 coins and get that Carlson. Uh, John Carlson is only in packs for a week, so uh, you want to make sure that you get him before he's out of it. He's a very, very good card. From Alan, what do you think of Tibu now that he has 83 endurance? Viable reason to do 87 set now with coffee as well. Even with Solani's fixed endurance, there's still only, you know, coffee obviously, and then Sakic, who is the second option in my opinion, and then Solani. After that, it's a like a just kind of a wah wah wah. You know what I mean? Like whatever, whenever you pick, it just wouldn't be a win. So it's still too much of a risk for me because unless you have Lafleur, Gretzky, and Lemieux, there's really no reason to do those ones. Any suggestions for preparing for tomorrow's event? So they obviously this was from Thursday or Friday, I believe. Um, in terms of preparing for the event, obviously I can't help you out with that now, but I will have a video that will go over the best of all ranges and things like that that will help you out throughout the week. You want to make sure, baseline, make sure you get Carlson, okay? Blow your collectibles on Carlson, okay? You want to make sure you get him before he's gone. Do I get rid of the 83 to Shane on my fourth line for 83 Aho to activate Howitzer? I have Stamkos and Sagan I want to activate. Absolutely. Your fourth line is your least concern. You want to make sure that they're at least adequate because I'm not a big fan of people that have, you know, bronze or silver cards just to get synergies activated because once that line does come on the ice, you're going to get absolutely hammered um, and it's going to be extremely risky. So Aho is actually a pretty decent card. Obviously not as good as Duchesne, but with how it's activated, it'll be really good. Hey, please love your videos. They help me a lot. If I want to spend money on Hut, what is the best way to make it worth it? All right, so if you're going to spend money on Hut, um, I apologize. No. Um, what you want to do is every day um, there is limited limited packs, like limited edition packs. So right now, for example, there's the uh, Mega Pack, uh, things like that. You want to open up the limited ones and stay away from the premium. So a good practice would be to open up the limited pack. Whatever gives you the most gold cards is the one that you want to open because even if you don't pull anything, you'll still get a lot of value out of it. Once you open up those and it says, okay, you've hit the daily limit, stop and then wait for the next day. Wait for the 24-hour cooldown and then rip them again. Don't burn all your cards on the premium packs. They're just not good. Are they going to keep the buy now option in the auction house out of the game or are they bringing it back? Also, why would they keep it out? It's annoying without it. Dude, I completely understand and so do they. It's a known issue. It's going to be patched back in the game. But a lot, what a lot of people don't understand in terms of, um, um, you know, in terms of, patches and whatnot um they take a long time and microsoft and sony has to approve them before they get the green light so that's why it takes a little bit longer because obviously if they could they would just throw the buy it down thing back on that's coming back in the game thank god but yeah that's why it's taking a little bit longer it should be in the next patch love the content got a question need a center who should i target super vague man i need some i need either how many coins you got or uh or give me some options like go through the auction house and tell me who you think you should get and then i'll pick between them i did both 86 and 87 sets once and i got coffee morens bro you're the worst 83 johansson or 84 wheeler mm. i like wheeler's card I can't remember the synergies off the top of my head for them, but unless it's like Howitzer, Speedster, or Distributor, which I don't think any of them have, um, I would go Wheeler. Hey, Sleeves, so I'm so glad I stumbled on your channel last year. I'm free to play. My best cards are 85 Untradeable Medano, 84 Headman, and 82 Lit Hughes. The rest of my team is all 80. I have two Untradeable Icons and 40k. I'm grinding my challenges for McDavid and Lit Carlson. I'm aiming for Mario and those where should i head after i get those also i want to say base grice is good for me pretty f i've heard a lot of good things about thomas grice specifically Eki, i think he uses the team of the week version really likes him 
Um, so yeah, so after you get Mario and McDavid, um, you know, who you want to look for, it's probably going to be too late for the event because you want to go after Nobel and, uh, and John Carlson because once they're out of packs, they're going to be expensive and pretty tough for any free-to-play player to get. Honestly, what I would do is I would do the 86 overall set for two icons and try to get Morenz, uh, Chelios, Blake, Niedermeyer, or Curry, one of them. Um, that would be what I would do. What defenseman do I pick up for under 100k? Mm, God, you're in that like middle tier range. Under 100k for a defenseman. There's like OE, lit OEL. Again, I don't know what side you're talking about, but lit OEL is a good one. Um, Hedman is kind is obviously going to be expensive, but he's almost at that 100k. I'd probably just save up a little bit and grab the team of the week, Hedman. Hey, leaves. Who should I fill in? For Berge and Panarin, they are my lone lit versus grid. I have six collectibles and 100k to get Lemieux. But who else should I get? Keep up the great work. Thanks, man. You have 200k. Okay. So fill in for Berge would be a good one. Would be um, Claude Giroux uh, from the uh, primetime collection, and then also uh, any of the 84 centers that have good center that have good draws. Takes 30 gold collectibles. That's like 30k in coins. Uh, I would go do that and try and get one of them. Just go and look at the ones you get. Whoever gets the best faceoffs. I have a video for it if you want to go look over all the 84s and who to choose. After that, 200k. I mean, you've got enough to get lit Carlson. Um, in terms of offense, you could get base McDavid and something. That's pretty much it. You're kind of in that medium range. Also, the team, of, or sorry, the Halloween Stamp Coast would be a good option. How does everyone have so much money? I flip cards here and there, but people have teams worth over 500k now. Uh, how? Uh, mom's credit card, bro. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's it. Or. Honestly, they grind rival squad battles and hut champs all in one week, and you just get so many packs that it's you know you usually get a pull out of it. Which cards perform is better performance wise, Lafleur or Lemieux? Two different things, man. So Lafleur, in my opinion, is the best right-handed card in the game. Okay, best right-handed winger card. So in my team, I have the best team you can possibly assemble. Basically, he is my number one right-handed winger. Lemieux, I prefer on the wing just based on his stats and his speed and everything like that. However, defensively, Lemieux is far better than Lafleur. Lemieux right now with his synergies, because he's got the best combo and how it's their distributor, the best card in the game. I made 90 Pat Heiskanen and was wondering if there's going to be a set where I can upgrade it as the year goes on. So it's not promised, man. I wouldn't bank on it. You know, there's a good possibility, but... That's why whenever I do these videos about like events and whatnot, I really try to get you guys to not do the untradeable version if it can be avoided because it is it'll really hamstrung your team. Hey, Sleeves, give it the great work. You're killing it. Thanks, man. I wonder what the next move should be. My first line is McDavid, Lafleur, and Lemieux forwards and on forward and Heiskin and Subban on D. I also have a good second line: Sagan, Let Duchesne, Pasta. Should I get a? Hmm. A second line center or a place Subban for a better right D to pair of Master Heiskin. And also, who would you recommend? I would get an upgrade on center. Again, guys, when you're building your team, you want to do your first two forward lines, then your first defensive line, then your third line on offense, then your second line on defense, then your third line on defense, then your fourth line. Um, I don't know how many coins you have, but like, you know, if you can get Marcel Nobels, that would be a fantastic one to go down the middle. Outside of that, like, um, trying to think just like it's it's hard because i don't know the price range like off the top of my head like bergeron be great even adam oates the 85 would be nice as well jack moriarty he sleeves i started i just started and watched your how to get ahead video and i liked it by the way thanks man but who should it be the first player i go for i have 20k and i'm doing the hit challenges right now so you have twenty thousand coins you want to actually to be honest man i'm gonna have a best of all ranges video that's gonna come out right after this one just go watch that man it'll have you it'll have some cards that um it'll give you some options to choose from kelly martin hey do you think i will be able to upgrade an 89 grip bergeron later on in the year or is that only for the 90 masters i have no idea man because this was this this like 90 overall version of cards was never in the game uh, in terms of master sets i would think that they both will be upgradable if they are but i wouldn't bank on it from armin I have Lemieux, Lafleur, and tradable lit Bergeron and Heiskin, as well as lit Carlson and Duchesne. Should I go over Gretzky or wait for next event? Um, well, since this was yesterday, what I, or uh, before the event started, I would make sure you get Carlson, and then worry about it. 
from Alexander. Keep up the hard work. Thanks for all the videos you put up. Nothing but mad respect for your opinion. Yo, thanks. I appreciate that, man. What is your opinion on sets, and how do you get the best packs when playing free-to-play? So the best packs, honestly, again, just by doing squad battles, rivals, or hut champs, what I would recommend is focus on one. So if you don't have a lot of time to do both, then focus all of your efforts on one. If you like playing online, do rivals. If you don't like playing online, you'd rather just chill and play squad battles, do squad battles. Um, that'll give you the best bang for your buck. And then obviously if you're in like the top tier, then do squad battles or rivals or reverse. And you're just going to get so many packs that it's 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 worth it, man. Walter Lawrence, hey, sleeves, great content. Who should I replace base hall or 85 backstrom getting Gretzky? Um, you should replace the hall. The 85 backstrom's a nice card. What do you think about 85 Sittler? He would be ill with both sins activated. 89 speed, 90 shot. He is actually low key if you have distributor and habits are activated. He's actually pretty gross. Hey, what do you think about the weekly events with a gold pack? Do not do that. Duh. Oh, sorry. You're talking about the weekly event packs. Yes. The 60,000 coin one. Everyone needs to be buying that pack with coins. It's the only pack I'll ever recommend buying with coins. You get a gold collectible out of it. So if you're going to make a card, um, you know, a, a master set item, you're saving money and getting an uh, getting a shot at, like, the, the Stamkos or Marner for free. So make sure you're doing that. Hey, man, love the content. Question with what I should do with my squad battle rewards. Should I sell the gold players and continue to buy higher level base cards or save them for icon collectibles? I'm free to play with 43,000 coins, zero icon collectibles, 127 gold cards. Currently saving for Sagan. My team is Stamkos, Bergeron, Kuznetsov, Kessel, Carbono, Malkin, Dabrinka, Duchesne, Huberto. See, it's a pretty good team, man. Like, you could compete with this team. Um, here's the thing. If you're not going to come close to getting the the 10 icons or even the 8 icon collectibles or, or gold collectibles, sorry, um, to make um, an event item, um, then I would probably just sell the cards. So you can only have, at this point, if including your team, you could literally only get two gold collect or two icon collectibles here. That's going to give you an 86 option, which would be someone that would replace your team. But if you have 43k and you sell 100 gold cards, you're basically that's like 100,000 coins right there. So you'd be at 143,000 coins. I would probably do that because then at least you could you could probably you could buy McDavid easily. You could buy um, Team of the Week Stamkos to replace this one. You could sell this one. Um, that's what I would do. Ace Leaves, new to the videos. I feel like I'm constantly trying to keep up with the new cards, and the second I buy one, a new version comes out, and it plummets in price. I've currently decided to sell my team as I've been struggling to keep up with the content and haven't had the time to grind rivals and squad battles. After selling off the majority of my team, I have just under 500k. Wow. When do you think cards will retain value long enough to justify keeping them long term? Even base cards still have value. I know, I totally get this because like I played Madden and MLB, and I was new to those those games this year, and I felt the same kind of thing. Obviously, like I play video games for a living so i get to just play them all the time so i can grind the game but if you're someone who doesn't can't grind the game it's a lot it's a lot more difficult to, to keep up and it does feel overwhelming here's the thing prime times and team of the weeks those really aren't cards that you should if you have like stamp the base stamp coast there's no need to rush out and get the prime time stamp coast because the the loan the, the normal stamp coast is fine that's that's a fine card what you want to make sure you're trying to get is at least one of the master items tradable um, that's where all of your coins when you're trying to upgrade your team should go just because once they're out of packs they're almost unattainable for free-to-play players like high skin is 500k and he's not going to drop for a while when it comes to other cards like you know like the base cards you're going to start seeing the base cards start to drop a little bit now as we're getting into the second month you're going to start seeing them drop a little bit but like team of the weeks and prime times those will hold their value for a while especially if they have a good synergy man So just looking over your team right now, go for the budget option. Actually, watch the video I'm about to put out, the best of all ranges. That one will help you. I know they did a lineup, but how to stop one-timers better? I watch a defensive tip video religiously, and I do that, but they can't stop them. Um, setting up one-timers, man, you need to be make sure you need to stop staring at the puck carrier. If you're getting burned by one-timers, then you need to make sure that you're looking for the passing lanes and not just the guy with the puck. A lot of top-end players will just hold on to the puck and wait for you to chase a little bit, and then that's how it opens up. I haven't watched the stream in a few days. I hope you're doing well. I am, man. Thank you. I hope you are as well. From James Smith. Hey, Sleeves. Keep with the great vids. Line A cover. Lemieux, Duchesne, Pasternak, Giroux. He's got Carlson and Coffee. My son says I'm trash, and he is not wrong. <laughs> what should I do next? I have Howitzer, Speedster, and one away from Distributor. Free-to-play grinder with 385k. Dude, respect. Uh, you, need to get, you need to get Distributor. So, a couple options with that amount of money. You're close enough 
you're close enough where after this week of rewards, you could get the Carl, the the um, um, the Halloween Carlson it has distributor, and that'll be your card. That's what I would do here. Ace leaves thanks for all the content. You're the goat. Thanks, man. I'm free to play, and I have Lemieux. I'm about to get Gretzky. About I got about 100k right now, and I'm just wondering where you think I should go with my next icons. Should I take a stab at Lafleur? Try to the 86, maybe. I have. I also have Gartner from the 85 set. I don't want to go there again. Okay, so this is going to depend on the rest of your team because I can't see the rest of your team. I, if you have a defense that's just kind of like mixed together with base cards and whatnot, I would recommend doing the 86 set. It's not very expensive in terms of value. And there's three great defenseman cards in there, Rob Blake, Chelios, and Niedermeyer. Um, and then you could get Morenz and uh, Yari Curry. Outside of that, you really want to try and get Lafleur. I would try to get Lafleur once, and if you don't, I would probably... You have an 80% chance, so if you don't, it's tough, but I would try. From Mateus, love the content. Keep the great work. Thanks, man. Here's my team. I'm free to play. I have around 50k and four icon collectibles. Should I go for Gretzky or Mario? And if so, which one? Always go for Mario, guys. And you have four icon collectibles and you're free to play? Yes, keep saving. Get that Mario. Nylander, O'Reilly, Kuznetsov, Panarin, Bergeron. So you're going to leave lost these two. Yeah, you need, you need, you're going to need, uh, you're going to need Lemieux. The bump down O'Reilly. Yeah, you need Lemieux. Jeffy Fernandez. Sleeves, dude, you've helped me so much my first year of HUD. Thanks, man. I'm not sure about the market, like when to buy and when to sell. When are you planning to release your video talking about the whole market? So I did that yesterday or two days ago, I think. Love the content, man. Always keep it going. You've got such great advice. Thanks, dude. Had a crazy pack ripping sesh. Squads. Squads seem to be worth the grind. I pulled the 87 Vasilevsky, 86 pot, 87 Potvin. Yo, congrats, dude. Should I keep and sell Potvin? Carlson would be his partner. I would sell Potvin. Yeah, not he's not worth the amount that he's going for. So I would 100% sell Potvin. Let me know how that Vasilevsky went, by the way. Ralph Dice, Slaves, I have three icon collectors. My defense is relatively weak. Should I do the 87 set, try for coffee, or save up for Mario or Gretzky? Don't do the 87 set. It's too much, too, way too risky. Um, you want to save up for Mario, man. Save up for Mario. You're close. Eric Burnish, hey, Sleeves, love the content. I'm free to play, and I've got a lineup that is okay, but needs improvement. Not sure where to start upgrading my lineup. Here's the first. Panera and Giroux. Okay, so you need a uh, yeah, you need a first-line center. I've got Speedster activated. I'm playing a James Schwartz and Howitzer. If you're free to play, okay, Le Lemieux is the is the easy answer here, but if you can't afford Lemieux and you've got like 100K, get the, get the uh, Halloween stamp kills. These slaves have a bad right wing position. I'm free to play and have 19k. The next video coming out will help you. These slaves, I have, so I have enough gold cards to get seven icon collectibles and get Lemieux. I was wondering if I should get Lemieux or save the gold players and gold collectibles for the new event. Here's my team: McKinnon, Bergy, Hall, Point, Stamkos, Duchesne. No, uh, here's the thing. What's your defense? Carlson, Larry Robinson. Oh, this is tough. Because Mario's not going anywhere. That's the thing. Carlson is. I, you've probably already done it. I would actually try and get Carlson and then start up again saving for Lemieux. Hey, so these are really loving the content so far. I was wondering what icon set should I target after I've gotten Mario, Wayne, and Lafleur? I'm free to play, and my team is pretty even between forwards and demons. So after that, honestly, the people that try and get Lafleur or get get um, Paul Coffey, it's honestly kind of a waste unless you're hut rich because you're just blowing three collectibles, basically. I would keep doing the 86 set because the 86 has a ton of good cards in it. I was wrong at the beginning of the year. The 86 set is nice um, because it has the three defenseman options, Rob Blake, Chelios, and Niedermeyer. Sub sleeves, I'm basically free to play with it. Oh, my God, dude, I forget this every single time. I'm basically free to play besides the, the great edition. No collectible pulls, so I'm currently sitting on four icons and one untradable gold collectible. How do I spend the GC? And by the way, I'm saving for the of 80k. What's next to me? Here's my team. I'm in D3. Sam said McDavid. Point Bergeron, Kopitar, Barzell, Ryan. You have four icons. Yeah, don't don't use any of the icons. You need to get Lemieux. You have eighty K coins. Grab like a team of the week or a base Kucherov on the one side. Alright, last one. Eighty five base Huberto or eighty six base Malkin. I already have Speedster activated. Ooh. 
God, I've just heard bad things about Malkin. He always plays worse than his stats. He's a lot like McKinnon in that sense. I would go Huberto. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Again, sorry if I didn't get to your question. Again, I keep these videos to about 20 minutes, so make sure you have notifications on and subscribe. That way, when this video comes out, you'll know and be able to get your question answered on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'm almost at 20,000 subs. Thank you guys so much for the biggest month of my NHL content career, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.